settings now we will move toward the system configuration and what is inside it so in system configuration we will find setup uh, control strat strategies and physical networks the setup uh, we will find few things inside the setup alarm preferences uh, the security and the name sets and licensing so alarm preferences are being used uh, for setting the alarm types and alarm pr priorities and those alarm priorities and alarm types are being used like you can see the alarm priorities warning log critical and advisory so what I, if i click on any like warning one so we have given it the alarm priority this is the alarm priority it has name of warning this is the description and there's a certain value against it so uh, and also we can assign any any sort of audio to that alarm uh, priority so here we define the alarm priority and then uh, you you can uh, see that there is a control studio where we will make our logic so uh, when we make our logic so we use these priorities what is the meaning of these priorities so these priorities uh, are starting from 1 to uh, 15 and 1 means the lesser the uh, 15 means the higher so you you will prioritize your alarms based on these numbers like you can give 15 numbers to your uh, alarms and the naming convention that depends on you like you can create uh, any alarm priority you can give any name to it like a uh, very uh, critical and then any value and then any file and that's it so you can create uh, as per your requirement you can see that uh, the priorities other priorities are being used one two three then 15 are also used so you can assign the remaining priorities to your uh, priority so th this is uh, the priority setup so, so uh, what will what will happen uh, if the high uh, like you have a question about uh, what does it mean like 15 and 14 so it means that whenever there is a, a same alarms but different priorities so in the log sheet in the alarm summary area in the HMIs you will find the higher high, uh, priority alarm uh, at you at the top and also you will always if there are two uh, happenings of alarm so the high, higher priority alarm will come first and then the next priority and then the next priority so that's how we prioritize our alarming and then there's uh, alarm types any alarm high high alarm these alarms can be uh, set any categories uh, it can have any word like different words are given by the delta v and then the, you can assign parameters as well and you can also give a message to uh, these uh, alarms so these will also be assigned to any module ai module or any other module uh, any blog uh, when you we open the control studio so you will see these all um, alarm options over there so in alarm preferences you we do these things then in security we define uh, different security of our uh, parameter security, the field security, the user security and all other security related things. So then uh, there are name sets. Name sets are actually used uh, again in the control studio uh, during our logic building. We will see that uh, we will find a lot of these name sets. So if I click on any name set so I will see that this is a type of name set object name uh, you will always see our object name of upon clicking on any element here then modified that then modified by which uh, so to uh, then finally you will see different uh, name sets so this is uh, what is named it, it is named as a mtr2 motor 2 so it, these are the name set for motors like you want to use name of start so it it has value of one uh, when you use um, motor stop it was it will have value of zero so it, it is like uh, too early to uh, understand these things but when we go towards implementing uh, uh, 
let's say a pump or motor or something else in our third session or fourth session so you will get these things as well like, like what does this this these mean and how and they show up there uh, in our control strategies so these are name sets and license area you can assign different licensing right now you, we are using simulate licensing so you can you use this area to assign any license you can load the license file you can create license file from the recent you can see the show system id so this will show the system id as well uh, and that's it the properties will sh this is no, no properties so uh, these these are all the uh, things re related to the setup uh, then uh, when we come toward the control strategy so it is quite obvious that this is our main area where we do find uh, our all the strategies are planned right now you are seeing it very shallow area like very clear area but when you work in a real time uh, control or you um, real time field uh, you will find a lot of things here like a lot of fields a lot of modules so uh, we will also implement few of the modules so you can understand how these come over here then uh, after control strategies uh, you will find the physical network and this is very important to understand that it will contain all the physical uh, things physical uh, nodes uh, which are connected uh, to the network uh, our delta v network or the our plant network so whenever you connect your controllers uh, or any other nodes it will show up here decommissioned because they are not yet commissioned and what you will have if we had uh, our physical uh, controllers right now we would have demonstrated that as well so what, what we can do we can connect our controller here to the uh, to the station so the decommissioned node would appear here we then right click on that node specific node which shows like it is not commissioned and you can click on the commission and it will be commissioned and it will come up and show up here uh, under control network as well so uh, this is the decommission nodes all the nodes will show up here then the control network in the control network you will see everything connected to our control network like, like i already mentioned the control network it is a network which on which there are different nodes connected to it so right now we have a simulated controller uh, which has control station which has all these things one is the continuous historian the assigned module the hardware alarms like the 43 alarms then the uh, these are the alarms which comes against the hardware if there's an issue in the hardware it will show up these alarms uh, so they pick up the alarms from here so then there's alarm and events so against every area there are alarm and events uh, for operators there's a certain placeholder which uh, is used for operator purposes uh, then the, there's a remote network uh, and remote client so all the remote uh, clients are shown here and if there is a remote connectivity uh, nodes they, they are shown here the remote network so uh, the majorly uh, you we will work uh, with the assigned module uh, if I expand the assigned module here uh, you will find that all those modules which you have built here in the control strategies area control strategies area and this module so it will exactly shown uh, the, the module will be shown up uh, here so every module we can assign to different controllers so we will come to that as well that how it works so overall um, this is uh, the system configuration which I mentioned to you right now then uh, if you come towards the control the ex explorer menus uh, we have these menus available which is which are quite straightforward we don't need to explain those menus but let me uh, give you a go through these uh, menus you, you will uh, find the import export here the format specification you can create and uh, edit licensing you can do it from here as well you can find a license report from here so it will show up that uh, DST limit system size and limited to DST is one then the delta V simulate network these are up every all the information you will find from here uh, then 
uh, in edit the same common things in view you will find how do you want to see different icons uh, different things in different way so then object explorer and properties uh, applications the different application uh, which can be opened from the start menu uh, also can be opened from here as well like specially control studio we require to open especially from here sometime from here sometime from uh, like here as well if I click on any control strategy uh, area and right click on it and open the control open with the control studio so I can open this thing with control studio as well uh, all other okay then uh, diagnostics as well here then there are tools database administration uh, networking time data v delta v login warning off and help so this was the menus then you can also create an area from here you can explore uh, you can edit and you can change the icon style like this uh, you can change to the large icon to small icon to list uh, to this as well the details version then you can see the show diagram option if you click on some area if you have if it has some diagram you can launch delta v login uh, alarm management and all other tools you can find from here so uh, it was the delta v explorer uh, 